Hi there, it's Wardy. Gonna talk about hair type today. What is your hair type? It's not as simple as a lot of people make it out to be, and it's really important, especially when it comes to choosing your styling products and figuring out the best routine for your hair to make it look and feel its best, so you look and feel your best. If you've talked to a friend and she said, oh my goodness, I used this product and it was amazing, and then you try it yourself only to find that your hair is either super dry, super frizzy, super weighed down and greasy, why? Well, it's because that product was good for her, it's not necessarily good for you. And this happens more often than not. Most of the products out there work for everybody else, but not you, because you are unique. So what is your hair type? It's not really as simple even as I have thought it to be in the past. There's three crucial things you need to identify about your hair. Strand thickness, overall density, how many hairs you have on your head, and finally, your hair's absorbency, or called porosity. Plus, Curl type comes into play too, although it's not as critical as the first three items I mentioned. Let's talk about those. First, strand thickness refers to how thick your individual strands of hair are. Compare your hair to half a strand of thread. Most threads are two ply, meaning if you pull it apart, there's actually two threads that make up one. So one of those, so half of the full thread, you can compare to hair that is normal strand thickness. Fine hair is thinner than that half strand and coarse or thick stranded hair is thicker. Second, hair density. How many hairs are on your head? When your hair is parted, how much of your scalp can you see along the part? And also how much of your scalp can you see just looking in between the hairs and looking right at your forehead is an easy way to see into your scalp. How much of your scalp can you see? If you can easily see your scalp, your hair is low density. If you can somewhat see your scalp, it's medium density. Or if you can barely see your scalp at all, it's high density. Third, porosity. Porosity refers to how porous your individual strands are. How quickly and well do they absorb water to become thoroughly saturated? They are either low, meaning not very absorbent at all, so low porosity, medium, or high. You can tell your porosity by how quickly your hair gets wet when you get in the shower. If it's quickly, as in seconds, then your hair is high porosity because it absorbed that water very quick to wet down your hair. If it's within a minute or so, your hair is medium porosity. And if it takes several minutes, including massaging to really get the water in there, you're talking low porosity. And I do want to thank Delilah from Holistic Enchilada for explaining this so well. It finally made sense to me so I could truly identify that my hair is high porosity. So those are the three most crucial things about your hair type. We are gonna talk about curl type though because this really comes into play when you're evaluating products and how well they preserve your curls and make your curls really shine. So curl type. Curl type refers to how curly your hair is. You have wavy to curly to coily hair. And there's variations in between. And if you go online, there's several different ways for evaluating it. The one that I like the best is the numbered scale where you have wavy hair being numbered two, curly hair being numbered three, and coily kinky hair being labeled four. Within each of those numbers, you have strengths of waves, curls, or coils from A being the weakest to C being the strongest. For example, my hair is a blend of 3A to 3C curls. And again, your curl type comes in when you're evaluating products. How well do they preserve and enhance your curls? Now let's put it all together. When you evaluate all the criteria I just described, you're gonna find out that you are so unique. For instance, my hair type is fine strands, medium density, and high porosity, with my curl type being from 3A to 3C. But how does that impact your choice and use of products? Well, here's what you need to know. You will use less and lighter weight products for fine hair strands and more and richer products for coarser or thicker strands. You'll use less and lighter weight products on low density hair, meaning how many you have on your head, and go to more products if you have high density hair. And finally, you'll use less and lightweight products on low porosity hair, where you can use more and richer products on high porosity hair. But if you just listen to those and you've already identified yourself according to the criteria I mentioned, probably noticed that you don't quite fit. There's contradictions in there. I just told you you should use fewer and lighter weight products, and I might have also told you you can use more and richer products. What's going on? For instance, with me, I have 
fine hair strands, so I need lighter and less products, but I also have high porosity, so I can use richer and more products. Doesn't make sense. Well, for most of us, we instinctively know that one of those factors is raising its hand and saying, I'm more important, listen to me. And that is your leading factor, or you might call it limiting factor. In my case, my limiting factor is the fineness of my hair strands. I cannot possibly use more product or richer products or my hair will be completely flat, greasy, yucky. I can only use as much product and as heavy of product as my fineness allows, which for me actually means I have to live with some frizz and less curl definition in order to preserve the volume and bounce of my hair. On the other hand, consider someone who has thick strands and low porosity hair. Having thick strands means she can use more product, but having low porosity means she's sensitive to buildup and can't put too much product on her hair. What's the limiting factor there? Probably the low porosity is going to raise its hand and say, don't go too heavy on me. And of course, there's all different variations in between. Again, each one of us are unique and there's hundreds of products out there. So we all have to find kind of a blend of balancing what's right for the limiting factor, but also trying to help the other side of the equation that maybe it's complete opposite. But now that you know your hair type, which is a combination of what we talked about before, choosing products should actually be easier for you. Go with your limiting factor, that thing that's in your head, which is my hair is really dry or my hair gets so easily weighed down by heavy products. If you already know that about yourself, that is probably your limiting factor and you wanna start there. If you need any help customizing a hair routine or finding non-toxic products that work for you, reach out anytime, email or text me. Or if you'd like to see ahead of time if what I might recommend might help you, go to wardy.com questions and we'll take it from there. God bless you, bye-bye.